Oh my god, I was just thinking about filming a Porsche 928 in front of this and then I turn around and I'm like, oh my god, there's that 54 Pontiac I haven't seen in years, holy schmoly. Oh my god, that's a Catalina if I'm not mistaken. With the famous Indian head hood ornament that would light up. I'll never fucking make anything remotely cool like that again, let me tell you. Man, oh, it's cost too much money. Look at that, wire wheel covers, optional. Black color original on a convertible, nose ears, eh, it's possible. Where's this car from originally? It's got an old safety inspection. Uh, hey, this car's from Missouri. Hey, maybe you're from Missouri and you remember seeing this car many, many moons ago. Uh, the seats were redone. This whole car was restored. C'est the propriétaire, hein? Ça fait des années que j'ai vu ce char-là. Ça fait des années que je ne l'ai pas vu. C'est une voiture très rare. Puis, euh... Je n'ai vu ça de ma vie. Ah oh non, parce que ça, c'était un modèle américain aussi. Hein? C'était pas vendu au Canada. Si tu voulais acheter ça au Canada, il fallait que tu payes bien cher de la faire importer. Ici, nos Pontiacs, c'était plus le body d'un Chevrolet. I was just telling the gentleman here, I said, uh, yeah, this is definitely an American model because in Canada, they were not made this long. And in Canada, Pontiac in these years were made on the Chevrolet body, so they were quite a bit shorter, you know. This was like really a, almost a luxury car to own. This is the kind of car a doctor would own, an architect. How much is it worth? How much is it worth? Well, I've seen it before. First time I really get to see it up close. Uh, off the top of my head, I don't know, man. Could be worth sixty-five to a hundred thousand. You know? I mean, you put this on auction. Who knows? But yeah, the owner could even say it's worth more than that. I don't know. I mean, to restore a car like this is a hundred thousand. You know? Fuck, am I out of focus here? Oh my god, the majestic lines of this 54, man. This just speaks volumes about General Motors styling in 54, man. In the early 50s, even. Even before the 55 Chevy came along, the 59 Cadillac, uh, and so many other uh, just great, great automobiles, legends, you know, stuff that made people fucking dream throughout the world even in 54 and, and look at look at the speaker they did the styling for the speaker here on the dash it was like a fucking fan in an old elevator for Christ's sake it was amazing really this this is what was on the verge to be known as the jet age you know or if you will the atomic age even now you see if the seats had been original they would have show more wear than this and they wouldn't have the same pattern either you know I hope the owner comes by. I want to talk to this guy. This is supposed to be an inline eight cylinder. This is the last year for the straight eight, actually. Oh, really glad to see this car. Something about those hubcaps, though, those wire wheels. I've seen those on other cars. Did I have the Pontiac logo on them? Oh, yeah, they do. Look at that. There's the logo right there. I would love to see this light up, man. Imagine you're fucking cruising down the highway at night and this is lit up, man. You're looking over, you see it lit up. What a trip, man. A true automobile. Single cat. Okay. You know what's funny too is that like this, I'm sure this is a Catalina, but it didn't have Catalina written on it anywhere. See? They didn't put like names as often on cars as they did later on in the years. Later on in the years, every car had a name on somewhere in the side or the front or the back. But it just says Pontiac, so people don't know what, what kind of Pontiac it is unless they know their stuff. You know? Yeah, look at this. That's for sure. It's a straight eight. It's got only one exhaust. 
Look at that, man. True show car. I have an amazing photo I took of this car. It had left the Orange Tulip restaurant and it was going on the carry, the carry, uh, the carry street next to the highway to carry. And it was a fucking sun setting. And oh my God, it was such a beautiful photo. And it was it a coincidence that it was a 1980s Pontiac Sunbird uh, driving behind it? Hmm, I wonder. Outstanding. Look at that. Outstanding Straight eight, man. Very bit darling, man. Hey. Hey, mon ami, attends une seconde. Attends une seconde. C'est quoi le minage sur votre Pontiac? 9000. Et d'après vous, c'est-tu le noir original? Oui, oui, oui. Intéressant. Fantastique. Très bonne soirée. I wanted to know that and I wanted to film him leaving. Straight eight, man. Last year for the straight eight was 54.